I think students struggle with everything from like just adjusting and and kind of like what would be maybe the expected relationship issues all the way to some really significant pervasive mental health disorders. I think what what we see on the regular, which is no surprise to anyone, is the, the anxiety. Um, and sometimes that's kind of also fueled with like some perfectionism or some unrealistic expectations about what they need to be doing or how they need to perform. I am Ann Ober. I'm the coordinating counselor here at the Wellness Center. That stigma around mental health is that people think it's about your ability to persevere or just like pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Um, but we would never say to someone who's diabetic, like, just process your sugar differently. Just create more insulin, right? We would give them medication. We would also talk with them about behavioral changes that might help their body function better. Um, so that's the same thing with mental health, is recognizing, like, we don't maybe have as great of, or a precise of an understanding of exactly the pathways or the neurons and the neurochemistry. We have an idea. Um, and so that's why we have medications that can use it, but it still very much has like a neurobiological component to it, um, and that those things are all interconnected. How do we get the message out? According to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, 85% of college students have reported feeling overwhelmed by everything they've had to do in the past year. Instead of looking at these negatives, however, I decided to focus on the positives. Hi, my name is Grace O'Leary, and I'm just a regular college student trying to see what makes other people happy. What makes me happy is spending time with family and friends. A sunny day in Worcester, Ohio makes me happy. Traveling and food makes me happy. What makes me happy is walking around a new city and taking photos. Barnes and Nobles and pubs with cheap chips. Um, so podcasts, milkshakes, and art museums. I think what makes me happy is being successful, whether in sports or academics. What makes me happy is like being outside and hiking and just being in like, natural spaces. Um, and what makes me happy is the exact same thing. Soccer, 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 for sure. Sunshine and a good book. My family and Crocs. The sun, warm nights, um, and my cat, like whenever she does anything. A good joke makes me happy. Trees. Finally right. overcoming something that gave me a lot of difficulty, like a video game boss or a project. So we've tried to implement like a lot of new things over the past year or so to just try and reach out to the students. We have our um, health education coordinator, Rachel David. So she started a lot of programs for students, like our peer educators. So students that are trained to go out and have conversations and lead peers um, to promote health and well-being, which I think is huge because I think students take that message different from a peer than say from a professional. We have started the U at Worcester or U at Woo program which is a platform for students to encourage them to engage in their health and well-being to help them reach like whatever goals they have. What makes me happy? A good stand-up comedian and getting to see the smile on people's faces when I ask them that question. I feel so good inside.